module we call that module looks like i am also broken by fear let me re login again so in order to clean your space you can hold the control and press l okay so that terminal will go up sometime because of net lag it is just a net lag ah okay very good yes now what you can do is module m o d u l e module list module list will show you what are the modules already loaded and again i am giving you the example of restaurant no modules loaded it is like a one star restaurant let us say when you go there they even serve you water yes. at, the, at the table okay <laughs> so I, I am like a, a zero star restaurant this is for now because some uh, client even doesn't like water and their preference might be hot water and some preference might be cold water so if their preference is hot water and i am serving the cold water then he will not come next time in my restaurant so i am not even serving them water okay so i am not loading any software at at the in starting but i am you can see what softwares are here module space av that is the command to see what softwares are there in our super computer okay module space av it will show you this many softwares i told you they are hidden in our storage or inside the fridge which uh, the client will not see initially by doing module list so when they module av then he will see i am giving him more access to the restaurant especially in the uh, cooking region and he will see oh yes that many foods are available here if i order <coughs> so it's like a menu menu card so now i am showing you the menu now you can pick any software that you want initially i was not able to see and now i am showing the menu now you can choose for example you need a compiler compiler is you understand the compiler basically and gnu8 compiler is here gnu8.3.0 that is the version number first uh, the um, style of this module is first the software name and then version name okay now in order to load that particular software what i will do is now i know the name of software okay although i remove the page module load gnu slash possibly this is the name let me check okay so i ordered gnu8 compiler out of so many softwares there okay now you can do module list it will show you currently loaded module is gnu8/8.3.0 this is how it will work first you have to pick the software that you are requiring initially there is no software in supercomputer you have to pick your software and then start working later on okay and although i did not talk but there is quantum sls also here you see there are four versions of quantum sls so you can see it here on the last column okay on the last column you can see four versions qe 6.8 gpu version qe 6.8 cpu if there is nothing it's a cpu version by default and 7.0 is also compiled both cpu and gpu version okay so we are using 7.0 throughout the um, all lab session qe/7.0 okay let me show you how to 
load that package now. Now suppose if you want to uh, do, do not like this GNU8 compiler and you have to cancel your order, how do you cancel that order? Let me show you. Module remove. Remove GNU8 slash the and then module name. So this way you are cancelling your order in a restaurant. Now if you do module list, you will not see any module now. Now no modules again. So you ordered, uh, for example, veg chowmin and then you cancel the order. So you have no order now. Okay. So this is how the restaurant works. Exactly same philosophy is here. And sometime you might, uh, suppose you ordered veg chowmin, later on you decided to order non veg chow mein. Okay, both are chow mein anyway. So that also can, is possible here in supercomputer. Let me show you how, how is that can be done. Because you have just seen there are four versions of quantum espresso and by mistakenly you loaded wrong version and you want to correct the uh, new version in a different way. Let me show you. Q is less 6.8. So I loaded this person. Now you can do module list just to verify whether your modules are loaded or not. Okay. This is very surprising. I am loading only one module that is Quantum Espresso 6.8 version. But there are seven softwares, uh, six additional software came here. What is this? I will show you again with a restaurant example. Actually, you are ordering your veg chow mein, they will bring sauce without any cost. You, you do not tell that I also need sauce or you need water or whatever uh, accessory food uh, or complementary food included in the veg chow mein, they will bring. You don't need to tell anything. The same will ha happen here. In order to run this quantum espresso, I need all other softwares also. Okay. So I have written this module file in such a way that user should not even worry about this, what softwares they require including quantum espresso. So I have bundled them together so that it is very less pain on the user side. Okay? This is how I have made this machine. And if you remove quantum espresso, then all other will be removed by default. Let me show you. Because you know how to remove module now. Module remove command, okay? Now I am removing quantum espresso 6.8, but all other modules will go on. Let, let me show you. Okay. Did I do correctly? Yes. Now when I do module list, I will not see any modules. Ah, okay. I think there are some other package remaining. Okay, L like this. You order veg chow mein, they will bring sauce. But when you tell that, okay, I don't like, uh, or you have some urgent work to leave the restaurant, and you cancel your, you did not eat your food, they will just took the vegetable veg chow mein, but they forgot to took the sauce with them. Okay, so they discarded the sauce. That is what it is here. It is a very interesting thing to work in supercomputer. Okay, now I will tell you the uh, uh, wrong software, how to handle the wrong software when you load it by mistake. Suppose you actually requiring 6.7.0 version and you, you loaded uh, right now by purpose 6.8 version. And let me check whether it is loaded or not. Yes, the person is loaded, which is in number 7, the last number. Now, you are actually requiring 7.0 or 6.0 GPU version, not even CPU version, okay? Let, let me show you how we can handle that issue. Module swap. Do you know the meaning of swap? Swap means exchanging, okay? It is called exchanging. 
So I am exchanging here. Actually, I was requiring GPU version of Quantum Espresso 6.8, but I loaded CPU version. No, that doesn't have minus GPU. Now you can very with little effort is the this command module swap QE 6.8 minus GPU. When you run this, the last message will come like this. The following have been reloaded with version change. This message will come here. Okay. Now 6.8 version is swapped with 6.8 minus GPU. Then you can verify this module list command. Okay. Now those one and three are actually one, two, three are basically the remnant of the previous. Okay. I have to take care. This is bug. I need to check this later on. Now we have in the number five we can see that quantum espresso 6.8 minus GPU is indeed loaded here. With another necessary compiler is NVIDIA C compiler, NVSPC slash 21.1 compiler also there. So this is how you can swap the modules uh, or suppose you loaded so many modules and you confused and there might be module conflicting also. Suppose you are purely vegetarian, you are non-veg then or other food actually. So you have to clean your whole table and bring the brand new food for you. Okay, that also can be done. That is the way of doing module purge. So module purge is the highest powerful command to cancel every modules there. So you are very angry with that restaurant owner and you leave the restaurant without eating any food. Module pause. So now I will show you module list. Now no modules loaded. You see? You are like in the, you just entered the restaurant. So this is how the module things work in supercomputer. Possibly if you have any confusion, let me know here, okay? I will go little ahead. This is the one part of supercomputing that you have to know how to handle softwares in supercomputer because they all are there already installed. Just thing is you have to know how to handle them, how to call them, how to use them and how to change them, how to remove them, unloaded them. This is what it is. And do not leave supercomputer without module purge. This is particularly because supercomputer will allocate some memory for the loading and unloading or when you unloaded software it will release the memory when you load the software it will consume although not very much but uh, some amount of memory will be used for this purpose okay so as long as your internet is stable you can do module pause and then exit from the supercomputer this is very important to do so, sometime after some time um, supercomputer automatically uh, disconnect you if you are exit by internet failure or something you disconnected or that is called in our language we call ungraceful disconnection from supercomputer then system will within one hour or two hour time frame it will automatically um, seize your resources when you user login it will allocate around 5 GB of uh, hard drive for you automatically okay and then some amount of memory and if it doesn't find you within two hours three hours uh, time and it will seize that memory and uh, space. So that it is very important, as much as possible, do graceful logout with uh, unloading all the softwares and then exit command, okay? Now, you know little bit about, uh, uh, possibly it is very brand new things for you and it might take little time, okay, for you. Don't worry, you, you may not understand uh, all the things what I told before. At least you are getting familiar with it and it takes time, I can understand that because it took around a year for me to understand this and make myself everything like this. Okay, now I will tell you about uh, resource allocation, job submission, monitoring and queuing system. Now I typed one command, yesq, yes, -E, -E. you may also try this command with me parallelly. 
now there is no jobs here because I particularly reserve the supercomputer for this uh, workshop. The first column, the actually job ID is the column, okay, although there is one single word, but there is so many jobs there uh, later on. And partition, name, user, status, time, node, node list. There are many column headers. Th these are basically col column headers there. Okay, SQ is used to monitor your job, although there is no jobs remaining here. And another is yes info. Yes info will show you the resource, actual resources. You can also type this SQ yes command with me. The first column is partition, second column is availability, third column is time limit, and then nodes, state, node list, such as we have one, two, three, three partitions in supercomputer, normal partition, Quad partition and Titan V partition, and all are available because all the state is off, availability is off. That means available. And in normal partition, you can run your calculation for 72 hours. Three days means 72 hours. In quad partition, 144 hours you can run your calculation. And similarly in Titan V, you can run 72 hours. Okay, three days. And there are six nodes in normal and uh, one node in quad and one node in titan v and six nodes are basically down because there are 11 nodes and i am turning it because of the uh, so many unpredictable rainy season and thunderstorm and i am not in Kathmandu university so i purposely shut down few nodes i turn on only little nodes that is sufficient for this workshop okay because i don't know whether there is power failure or not leaving this much fire so, so that I have to manage accordingly. There is no interruption on the lab works here. Only I have turned on five nodes on normal, one node on quad and one node on GPU so that it is good enough for this workshop purpose. So I am running basically in very minimum stage. So this is how you will know the uh, yes info command. Okay. And later on I will tell you how to uh, run calculation. Calculation is run in most of the cases, in your local laptop, you will do dot slash and file name. Okay. In most of the cases, if you are running calculation locally in your Linux machine, what will you do? You will run this way. But in supercomputer, never do this. Okay. It is extremely dangerous in supercomputer. We do not run like this. Because in supercomputer, I have shown you yesterday that block diagram. There is a head node, there is a compute node, there is a storage node, nodes, or there is some service node as well. Okay. So in this case, we log in. Where we are logging now is the head node of supercomputer. And from this, when you submit the job, it is called job submission. When you submit your job, then your calculation will push to the compute node, different machine, not on the head node. It will never run in head node. And we should not run on the head node until there is it consumes very little like 3 seconds, 4 seconds only calculation or maximum 1 minute you can run on head node but use only one core. Okay. What we will do is, I will show you how it is done. And your file structure may be little different than mine. Okay, I, I haven't shown you yet that. Himachal NMM 22, okay, it, it is not right now in your case. And there you will see a lot for that, that I, I just sent you in a WhatsApp message. Okay, here what you see is run.salaram file. This file is very special for you, okay. And this is one of the important files working in supercomputer. Let me show you the content of this file now.
content of file is like this. Uh, let me do like this, I guess. Can we change uh, from black to white background of this? Uh, yeah, 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 right, right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, let me go to preference. And then, general. Colors, yeah. Okay, use system color. I think yes. So, background is it more more good? Background should be white. A tango dark. White background. Black on white. Ah, black and white, right? Yes. Uh, is it? I think. Let, let me to black to white, sir. Uh, uh, the opposite way. Yes, I think it is good. But blue is not busy. Blue color. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Right, right. right. Black and white, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Is it visible now? Or what about uh, uh, green? Is this visible Black. or earlier one better? Or le le let me show you one more, okay? Um, just. Yes, that is also we can try. Is it good? This one. Better, sir? Yes, okay. Okay. Now let us see this file. Bin bus. The first line. This is a Solarum file. Solarum means simple Linux utility resource manager. Okay. Because of the multi environment, multi user environment, we have to manage supercomputer with the Solarum software. And it is an open source software, but we have to write the policy ourselves. Okay. So the policy is very important here. L let me explain you in some uh, different way. Suppose. Uh, uh, there is you are going in a uh, uh, office with some work and like uh, you you are going to pay your uh, bill in in this campus also we can take the right here example we don't need to go much far so you are going in an account office to pay your bill tuition fee three. and if you have to pay like 12 months fee and other student has to pay only one month fee and basically 12 months fee payment might require more time for the accountant it, definitely because he has to calculate so many uh, things and there may be some interest in, incurred because of fines involved because of late payment so what the accountant will tell you is let me work first uh, to the student who has only one month uh, payment and then he will come to you because you have uh, you will engage with him longer with the accountant because you have time to calculate interest to calculate and 12 months has to aid okay so your involvement engagement is longer with the accountant so what he will tell definitely is i will come come to you next that is what you will tell and same philosophy is used here suppose you are requesting less number of cpus less amount of memory and less amount of time and submitting your job then supercomputer this queuing system will put you forward in the queue okay it is same like fee payment and when you uh, request more resources from the supercomputer it will push you back on the queue that way we have to serve the users and because of that loophole that is called a loophole in some senses what users might do is they will they will submit their job with less res uh, resources more frequently and they will get undue benefit of that process but this software will catch you i have written in such a way that they will catch you uh, if you are doing that and uh, getting forward and forward every time in the queue and your overall job is uh, more hour you are running than the other user who wants little more resources so supercomputer will catch that user and Again, stop that user for next time. After running 4-5 hours, it will understand 
your intention and it, it will automatically stop. I don't need to take and do anything. I have just write a policy and I can sleep. Uh, I don't need to worry that much. The system will do and this is how it works. Okay. So let me tell you the meaning of these lines here. The first line here is just the cell you are using. The, you are using bus cell here. Okay. Bus, bus is a cell in Linux. And the second line which is here with yes batch, first a hash sign and then yes batch. That means it is a slurum instruction and you are some sort of using resources here. Okay. And minus J is a name of your job. Capital J is. And let OPT, uh, let is optimal. It is for our own record. Suppose you submit 100 jobs and you have to track that how many jobs you finished, how many are pending, how many are running. Then you need to know which job is what is happening to your jobs okay so right now it is not that much valuable for you but when you really work as a pro in supercomputer then you you have to write this kind of a proper way to identify your jobs so you are tagging your calculation and this minus p is the partition partition like here and you don't need to go much far here to understand Suppose in a part, suppose you want to pay your fee, college fee, and there might be two lines, one for girls, another for boys. That is a partition. So girls has to go on that line, boys has to go on the next line. And they have different resources. If the number of girls are too many, then there may be two accountants to handle the girls' line and one accountant to handle the boys' line. Okay? Or if the ratio is five times, there may be five accountants for the girls' line, one accountant for the boys' line. So this is how the partition is all about. So there are normal, I, right now I am using the normal partition. You are, most of us um, yes, will submit jobs using normal partition today, if possible, otherwise we will do that tomorrow. And this is very special option. In supercomputer, I told you that calculation will run in a different computer, not the computer in which you are right now logged in. Okay? Then when your calculation move to the next computer, then there is no monitor available to watch what is coming on the screen because there is no display there. So you lose your display. And the content what we are supposed to come on the display will be stored on this file name. Okay, and that is tagged by the percentage J means job ID. It is tagged so that you can later on debug your display message what was there on the display. And the capital N, the next line is capital N, total number of nodes requested capital N and right now we are not using more than one nodes for this training and yes as minus small n is number of CPUs requested per node okay or total it could be total and in this calculation except for node you are using uh, only four, no four CPUs but it will give you enough flavor of filling of parallel calculation how much faster it will go uh, then your single CPU calculation, okay, which we compiled yesterday. And this last line with yes batch is the time requesting. Right now, I am requesting 15 minutes for this calculation. Although in, it may not um, require that much, but uh, it is a, th that is what I am requesting. And you have to careful when doing this time. You have to somehow uh, know your job calculation time also in supercomputer. If you don't know, use maximum value that is 72 hours and you can monitor your calculation progress and you believe that your calculation will not finish in 72 hours, then you have to write the email to svc at the rate ku.edu.np. Then as a root, I can increase your time according to your request and um, that is how it works. And then you can load your mo module right on this file here. You can load the module uh, because when you go to compute node, you have no module again. So you have to load the module again because this calculation will go to compute node. So you have to write, request the module load command again. And then this last line is the actually last line is the actual job running step. The very last line is the job running step. You see, so the Calculation process is a little bit complex in supercomputer, but at the cost of this complexity, we are getting huge speed up. So we should not afraid 
to write this much uh, line of uh, at least uh, how much 11 to 13 lines of uh, commands to gain the if your calculation like 10 times faster then instead of finishing your calculation in 10 hour it will finish in one hour so you have nine hours relaxed time so that nine hour is huge gain just in order to write this 11 time you spend nine minutes and gain the nine hour so it is amplification of your time okay so you are spending nine more minutes but you are getting nine hours of a leisure time later on so that you have to also doing this uh, writing okay this is how the ronald slorum um, file uh, the commands on this file Ah, okay, I'm again bounced back because I was silent and I'm, I think, okay, okay. let me re-log in, okay, okay, I'm out of the supercomputer again. Okay, now I logged in back. Now let me go, okay, now, uh, you can visit that, uh, which is browser here. That GitHub page I told you in the morning or um, possibly yesterday also I might have told. Let me see. Yeah, okay, very good. So here you can type mm -hmm. www basically not required. GITSUV dot com slash R P A D S I P A R I. In the browser, uh, you can visit this web page github.com slash rpadikari. This is my github repo where I generally made uh, software available for trainings and for research. There are until now I have 40 software repository here. I started working here from 2013 and until now I have 14 repo, 40 repos and click the repository because I have I have yet to book, bookmark that uh, today's uh, repo here. So the first repo is Himachal uh, Yan Yam Yan Yesterday me and uh, Arun sir figure out the name that Himachal uh, Nanomaterials Modeling. That is the meaning of this. And 2022 is tagged by the year number. Okay. So you can click this repo and I will tell you the content and then you can download it very easily. I have already shared on the WhatsApp message how to download. There are, I have yet to populate partial density of state and one more folder might be remaining here, volume, volume optimization. I, I will populate tonight if possible or tomorrow sometime. And today we are working on lattice constant optimization. Okay, but you can read this instruction also as well. There is some instructions here. And let us go to LAT folder. So here is also readme file. The readme file will show up. Although font is very small. Okay, let me increase the font if possible. Is it visible to all of you? Yeah. This folder contains information about maybe you can read on your laptop instead of looking on the screen. Uh, silicon using PW calculation in ESCF calculation style, it contains the following files. Okay, the files are indicated by equal and then arrow sign. Okay, first file is a0.pdf, that is the plot of total energy versus lattice constant A naught of silicon. And then alert.plot is a GNU script to render the plot that a0.pdf. Then alert.process, this is it has more explanation here, you can read it. And rounded slurum, which I discussed about already. And svline.plot is also GNU script to uh, it is called uh, what is called uh, cubic svline fitting. Okay. In cubic ESP line fitting, what we do is, it is a great mathematical interpolation and extrapolation idea. It basically guarantees the passing of line through the point. In polynomial fitting, it does, there is no guarantee that the line, fitted line will touch the point, calculated point. 
but in ESP line it is guaranteed. Okay, so this is a different kind of fitting algorithm. So I use ESP line. Basically, this is what we should do. And if you want to know which the algorithm, there is a Wikipedia page also here. I have attached. So congratulations! Now you are ready to submit the job on supercomputer. Okay, and how to submit job? Yes, was space run dot slalom, and the last line is monitoring your calculation. Yes, okay. So in this case, what you can do is just click on the Himachal one. Yes. So, can you increase the size? Yeah, I increase, sir. Yeah, I think it's. They can also look. Uh, okay, is it visible now? So this is the Himachal. Himachal Nano Materials Modeling web page uh, repo, repo, okay. And did you see a green button here? Code. You can possibly see on your screen also, okay. And then there is a small triangle just right side of the code. Click there on the small triangle. A, a small pop out will come like this. And then there is a double double square right here. Click that square, and the link will copy it like this. Okay, so the link is copied now, and after you copy the link, go to your terminal here, such as again looks like an interface. Yeah, yes, sir. Click may or I there. लेट में रिलाग ही नहीं होगा Now do not download it, okay? Do not issue that problem. And when you do your less, once you are logged in, let us log into the supercomputer now. Okay, all log into the supercomputer and do your less command. Your less is the listing. It will show you all the contents in that folder where you are landing. So at least in your case, you should see this directory, storage zero directory. If not, let me know. Okay. All able to see this storage zero directory? Okay. Now go to that directory by cd command. Cd storage zero s t o r a zero. So cd space storage zero. Let me increase the font. Okay. So I hope it is possible uh, visible. Cd space storage zero. It will take you to the folder that storage zero folder. And when you see yeah, less possibly you will see nothing there. What? I have so many content already populated here, okay? And I already have him as well. Then what you are supposed to do is that zit space c l o n a colon, and then paste the link that you copied. Okay, zit zit n colon. You have to type that yourself, and then paste that link by right click and then paste uh, on the menu. There, there you will see when you right click, there is a paste like this, okay? And if you don't like mouse button, then you can do uh, Control Shift V. Okay, Control Shift V will automatically paste on the Linux terminal. If you don't like to use mouse, it is possible by keyboard also pasting. And then you will hit the enter. I will not do this, okay, because I already downloaded. You can hit zit space clone. You have to type and then paste the link and hit the enter. And then it start um, cloning your that repo in your um, part in your folder. So let me know, okay, if there is any error while cloning your cloning this folder. Himachal NMM twenty two folder. फिर से लॉगिन करना है मेरे को इधर फिर बाउंस बैक हो गया मैं एक बार फिर लॉगिन करता हूँ और 
मेरे ख्याल से आप कि, किसी वजह से ना आप डिस्कनेक्ट हो गए तो लॉग इन करके फिर सी डी स्पेस स्टोरेज जीरो करना है जैसे मैं कर, करता हूँ और इसके बाद फिर सी डी हिमाचल करना है किसी भी वजह से आप डिस्कनेक्ट हैं तो और ये फोल्डर आपके स्टोरेज जीरो में दिखता है यालेस करने के बाद अब अगर यहाँ यालेस करेंगे तो हम ये सारे फोल्डर सब रेडमी फाइल दिखेगा और इनमें से हमें एल एट में जाना है कैसे जाएंगे सीडी करके ही जाएंगे फिर सीडी स्पेस एल एट करके जाएंगे हम एल एट में एल एट मीन्स लेटेस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट ओके ए इज द लेटेस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट देर फॉर द फोल्डर नेम इज एल एट एंड इधर एल एस करने में आपको दिखेगा ये सारा फाइल्स जो ब्राउजर में भी दिखता है वही है ये जो अभी ब्राउजर में दिखा था वही फाइल्स हैं जैसे कि ए जीरो डॉट पी डी एफ है एल एट डॉट प्लॉट एल एट डॉट एस एस रॉन डॉट सलॉम है एस पी लाइन डॉट प्लॉट है और अच्छा मैं एक चीज़ भूल गया मैं इसमें मैं बताता हूँ आपको क्या भूल गया मैं आपको ना एक कमांड लगाना है क्योंकि शुरू पोटेंशियल नहीं है उधर ब्राउजर में जी ठाक में अभी अपलोड नहीं किया मैंने वो आप मैं उधर रख देता हूँ टी एम पी में उसी से ले लीजिए मैं देखाता हूँ आपको कौन सा कमांड का करना है आपने जब ये फोल्डर हिमाचल वाला फोल्डर में है तो ये कमांड लगाइए आप स्ट्रिक्टली हिमाचल फोल्डर में होना है इस इस कमांड के लिए दिखता है ये कमांड ये लास्ट में सी पी है स्पेस माइनस आर उसके बाद एक स्पेस है और स्लैश टी एम पी स्लैश सूडो और इसके बाद फिर एक स्पेस और डॉट है वो डॉट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है डॉट का मतलब है डेस्टिनेशन इधर सी पी कमांड कैसे काम करता है सोर्स और डेस्टिनेशन दोनों चाहिए इसके लिए माइनस आर ऑप्शन इसलिए है क्योंकि हम फोल्डर तान कॉपी कर रहे हैं टी एम पी से ओके मैं इंटर नहीं करूंगा क्योंकि मेरे पास तो ऑलरेडी है ये फोल्डर आपको इंटर करना है अब ये कमांड लगा के इसके पहले आप यकीन करें कि हिमाचल अंडर स्कोर एन एम एम अंडर स्कोर ट्वेंटी टू फोल्डर के अंदर है उसके बाद ये कमांड डाल के इंटर करना है सभी का हो गया और उसके बाद एल एस करें यालेस करने से ना आपको ए फोल्डर दिखना चाहिए सूडो फोल्डर इसका यकीन करना है हमें और और सा, सारी फोल्डर तो पहले से ही था और अब सूडो फोल्डर भी दिखेगा अपने फोल्डर में आ गया सभी का सूडो फोल्डर नहीं आया तो फिर हाथ उठा सकते हैं और माइक ऑन करके बोल सकते हैं सिर्फ ऑन करने से भी हो जाएगा क्योंकि जब इसको ऑन करेंगे तो ये लैम्प दिखेगा <laughs> अच्छा नहीं दिखा <laughs> किस में है लाइन लैम इसमें भी है हाँ हाँ है लाइन देखेगा और हम आके फिर एसिस्ट करते हैं उधर चलो लाइन सभी का हो गया है ना ओके अब ना सी डी एलेट करके जाना है सी डी स्पेस एलेट करके हमारा उद्देश्य है एलेट में जा, जाना सी डी स्पेस एल एट और उसके बाद फिर एल एस करेंगे और इस बार तो सभी ग्रीन है मेरे इधर पता नहीं आपका कौन सा कलर है टर्मिनल का इस फाइल को ना हम एग्जीक्यूटिवल बना देते हैं मैं दिखाता हूँ कमांड सी एस एम ओ डी ए प्लस एक्स ये कमांड कंपलसरी है अगर ये कमांड नहीं लगाया तो रन नहीं होगा जब ओके सी एस मोड स्पेस ए प्लस एक्स एल एट डॉट एस एस ये ना एग्जीक्यूटिवल बना देता है फाइल को हमें उधर जब जी ढब से ताना था वो एग्जीक्यूटिवल प्रॉपर्टी लॉस होता है इधर तानते तानते आते आते और इसको फिर रिन्यू करना है हमें 
ए कमांड से सी एच एम ओ डी स्पेस ए प्लस एक्स देर इज नो स्पेस एंड एक्स्ट्रा वन स्पेस एंड देन फाइव नेम जिनको हमें एग्जीक्यूटिवल बनाना है आप ओके इसको इंटर कर दीजिए अब यल एस करने के बाद इसका कलर थोड़ा अलग देखेगा लेकिन ये ग्रीन टर्मिनल में नहीं पता चलेगा लेकिन ब्लैक टर्मिनल में पता चलेगा इसका मैं व्हाइट ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट कर लेता हूँ फिर इसका कलर आप डिस्टिंगशन पता चल जाएगा क्या था कलर ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट था ना सर हाँ चलो पता चल गया है ना कलर चेंज हो गया पहले ऊपर में ना ब्लैक कलर का था ये फाइल नेम अब नीचे जब हम हमने ए कमांड किया सी एच मोड ए प्लस एक्स एल एट डॉट एस एस तब फिर एल एस करने के बाद इसका कलर ग्रीन आ गया है इस तरह से चेंज होना है इसका कलर अगर चेंज नहीं हुआ तो हम समझेंगे कि कोई इरर है इसमें कमांड में कोई गड़बड़ हो गया ओके सभी का हो गया इस तरह का ग्रीन ग्रीन कलर ओके और हमारे पास ना रन डट सलाम फाइल पहले ही है इस फोल्डर में सिर्फ अब जॉब सबमिट कर देना है सिर्फ एक बार जॉब सबमिट करना है दो बार करेंगे तो फिर उसका वेस्टेज हो जाएगा <laughs> और तो कुछ नहीं होगा यस बैच रॉन यस बैच जॉब सबमिशन करने का कमांड है और हमारा जॉब सबमिशन स्क्रिप्ट है रॉन डॉट सोरम ओके अब आप इस तरह से मैं भी कर देता हूँ छोड़ो मैं नहीं करता क्योंकि अनावश्यक वेस्टेज होता है रिसर्च का और लेट मी डू जस्ट टू शो यू वेन द जॉब इज सबमिटेड इट विल शो यू द मैसेज सबमिटेड बैच जॉब एंड देन जॉब आई डी विल बी पॉप आउट हियर लाइक माई जॉब आई डी इज सिक्सटी सेवन जीरो एट ओके एंड इट विल कॉम इंक्रीज वन बाई वन एंड मॉनिटर करने के लिए क्या कर सकते हैं यस क्यू यू ई यू ई इस तरह का कमांड अभी भी दिखाया था मैंने अब तो बहुत सारे जॉब आ चुके हैं जब आ रहे हैं ना लास्ट में इसका थोड़ा इसमें बनाता हूँ इसको अच्छा बहुत सारे जॉब्स हो गए हैं आप लोग देख लीजिए है ना जिसका स्टो ये आ रहे हैं लास्ट में स्टाटस दैट मीन्स ये जॉब रन हो रहा है जिसके स्टाटस पीढ़ी है जैसे कि इसमें दिखता है इसका मतलब है ये पेंडिंग हो गए हैं रिसोर्स अभी लिमिट है हमारा सिर्फ ट्वेंटी नोड ट्वेंटी कैलकुलेशन चलता है एक बार में क्योंकि फाइव नोड्स है अभी एक नोड में तीन फिफ्टीन सॉरी फिफ्टीन चलता है एक नोड में तीन जॉब रन होता है क्योंकि ट्वेल्व कोर्स है हमारे उधर हमने फोर सी पी रिक्वेस्ट किया था इसी तरह से और ये जो कॉलम है ना पहली बार जब किया था तो सिर्फ ये हेडअप था आपको पता होगा है ना क्योंकि उस बार किसके अभी रन जॉब रन नहीं हो रहा था जब हमने जॉब लगाया है तब तो इस तरह से पॉपुलेट हो जाता है कैलकुलेशन और स्टाटस क्या है कौन सा यूजर का है ये भी दिखता है जैसे कि ये कैलकुलेशन हिमा 19 का है और ये मेरा है इधर राजा और ये हिमा फाइव का है इस तरह से और सभी ने ये चेंज नहीं किया हमने जॉब का नेम सभी का इसीलिए एक ही है लेट इज ऑप्टिमाइजेशन आप कुछ तरह से दूसरी नाम भी रख सकते हैं इसमें लेकिन हमने अभी नहीं किया एंड पार्टीशन सभी का नॉर्मल है इस बार क्योंकि वो भी चेंज नहीं किया हमने रनडर्स लॉन्ग में और ये बताता हूँ मैं क्या है ये रिसोर्स प्रायोरिटी और नोड आइडिया आ रहा है इधर ये क्या है कि मैं जिसका अब रिसोर्स है ना इधर स्टाटस दिस मीन्स दिस इज द नेक्स्ट जॉब टू रन इसका मीनिंग ये है जब जिसका प्रायोरिटी देखता है ये बाद में आएगा इसका थर्ड रन होने में और जिसका नोड नेम इधर है इसका मतलब है वो रन हो रहा है ओके इस तरह से आप कुछ समझ सकते हैं यस क्यू कमांड का मतलब क्या क्या है इसका कौन कौन सा जॉब रन हो रहा है किसका रन हो रहा है किसका कितना जॉब रन हो चुका है जैसे कि जब जब मैंने एक कमांड डाला था तब मेरा जॉब थर्टी सेकेंड सेकेंड थर्टी सेवन सेकेंड रन हो चुका है और इसी इसी के सिलसिले में ये अब किसी का खत्म भी हो गया होगा अब तक तो देख लीजिए अब तक पॉपुलेट भी उसी तरह से हो रहा है और रन भी हो रहा है है ना देख सकते हैं आप इसी तरह से और और ज़्यादा पॉपुलेट हो रहा है क्योंकि अब सभी से देख लीजिए कितने सारे जॉब आ, आ चुके हैं अब तक कैसे दिखेगा अच्छा हाँ 
लेकिन बहुत सारे जब हैं इधर टर्मिनल का स्क्रोलिंग किसी तरह से आप हो गया हाँ आप अच्छा आप जब रन सबमिट करके हम ओके नाउ व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन एक्चुअली नो योर कैलकुलेशन रिजल्ट दैट इज द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दिस एल एड फोल्डर कमिंग टू एल एड फोल्डर सो व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन टाइप अ कमांड कैट कैट एंड वन स्पेस एंड द फाइव नेम वेयर यू आर स्टोरिंग द फर्स्ट कॉलम ऑफ दिस फाइल ई टोट दैट दैट फाइल हैज टू कॉलम्स ऑन इट द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज लैट इज कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रॉम माइनस थ्री परसेंट टू प्लस थ्री परसेंट इन सक्सेशन लाइक इन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन परसेंट एट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू परसेंट इंक्रीमेंट एंड द सेकेंड कॉलम इज टोटल इनर्जी ओके सो दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू लुक सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज द लैट इज कॉन्स्टेंट हियर एंड सेकेंड कॉलम इज टोटल इनर्जी इस तरह से ओके सो एंड देन व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन एक्चुअली रेंडर द प्लॉट बिकॉज यू हैव दिज टू कॉलम्स देन यू कैन प्लॉट द वाई एक्सिस विच इज द सेकेंड कॉलम हियर एंड द फर्स्ट एक्सिस इज द एक्स एक्सिस फर्स्ट कॉलम इज एक्स एक्सिस सो यू कैन प्लॉट एंड देर इज प्लॉट स्क्रिप्ट इज ऑलरेडी मेड हियर यू डोट नीड टू गो एनी वेर लेट मी शो यू हाँ ठीक है ओके थैंक यू हेलो हेलो वेलकम बैक आफ्टर द टी सेशन एम आई ऑडिबल ऑन द बैक ऑल्सो ओके नाउ वी हैव डॉन समथिंग लाइक अ ब्लैक बॉक्स बिफोर दैट इज एक्सटेंसिवली डिस्कस बाई जागतिश सर इन द मॉर्निंग इट वॉज एक्सटेंसिवली डिस्कस्ड ब्लैक बॉक्स सो आई एम ऑल्सो डूइंग काइंड ऑफ ब्लैक बॉक्स बिफोर नाउ आई विल मेक इट व्हाइट बॉक्स फ्रॉम ब्लैक बॉक्स ओके सो लेट अस रीड द कंटेंट ऑफ एल एट डॉट एस एस फाइव दैट इज अस स्क्रिप्ट एज वेल एज इनपुट फाइल ऑफ क्वांटम एक्सप्रेशन ओके फॉर द लैट इज ऑप्टिमाइजेशन पर्पज so this is header file don't go on it it is not required for you and the first line is required here okay only the first line is important bin bus that means again we are using the bus cell and this is a my acknowledgement notice and if there is now the linux command is also here rm is linux command and i am deleting these two files if they are already there in the folder okay if not nothing will happen and this is a bash script as a programming what i am doing is i am scanning lattice constant from standard value of 5.43 angstrom plus minus 3 but i am using in a bore unit okay not a angstrom unit here that is little changes here and i am using a very fancy script bash script to change the lattice constant this is the that kind of script okay I spent like many months just to able to write this line, like Arun sir told in the morning with K point script. Okay, so what this does is the there is a for loop here, and yum is a variable index index variable, and it has value from zero to twenty four. That means we are using twenty five calculations here, and for twenty twenty five different calculation, I am changing the a lat. How I am changing it? Let me show you. This 10.265254 is the standard value taken from the uh, Kittel's book. Okay, in but in Bohr. Okay, there, there is it is in Angstrom. And 97 by 100, it is 0.97. That means I am three percent less than the standard value. And all the way up to uh, plus three percent. That is because of that 25 on the last value. When you multiply yum as 24. And then 0.025, it will be plus 6 percent. I am adding 103. So 97 percent to 103 percent, I am scanning the lattice constant by the interval of 0.025 percentage. Okay, so I am using a very fine source on this range, so that I will catch some 
good value in between so that the energy is really minimum there okay this is the it is perfectly done by a bas script the purpose of doing this is less error prone making is less error prone and less human effort both actually so i strongly recommend this kind of calculation because error chances of error is very little here because it is all done by the software and suppose you said that you are doing 3. Point, sorry 2.5% but you might have done 2.4% by some human error so all the effort is gone and resources also wasted so in super computer especially this is very important like you are doing one calculation or two calculation then it is okay you don't need this kind of script but here we are doing 25 calculation or if you want to even very fine research like 0.025 like even half of this interval so you have to do 51 calculations in that case okay so doing 51 calculation without error by hand is a terrible job so you need to use the bas script that is the i like and this is in quantum espresso input file you, if you are very novice if you are intermediate user then you you don't need to listen my instruction right now but if you are very novice then it is very important there is a control block this is the control block and it has only instruction how to move forward your calculation okay there is no system specific information in this block such as the first tag is which kind of calculation you want to perform is self consistent and there are other options also like non self consistent relax vc relax uh, and uh, molecular dynamics simulation like av initio molecular dynamics uh, calculation in the, we discussed in the morning then restart mode is there another flag this flag tells us that whether we are using our calculation brand new calculation or some interrupted calculation we are resuming from there okay so if you see the value argument is from is scratch then you are using your brand new calculation okay and the pseudo potential that is what we required before because without only input for the dft calculation is the pseudo potential all other tags we can define like this and disk io and output directory is dot slash means right on the same folder where you are running this calculation and disk io is equal to non is there that means do not write anything except the output file so that is what we require for this kind of calculation and calculate the stress calculate the force and convergence threshold is not required this is the convergence threshold for energy and force but we are doing scr calculation so these two last two flags are not required so this sign is actually comment sign okay for the quantum resolution input purpose and it has same um, comment like a fortran 95 and the, the exclamation sign means comment in fortran also okay and next block is the system block where actual system information is here like what kind of lattice constant you have and what is the value of that lattice constant and how many <laughs> atoms you have how many type of atoms you have and what is the number of bands you want to calculate and kinetic ener- energy cut off we discussed in the morning session and occupation is equal to fixed this means it is a insulator semiconductor is also dealt with as a insulator okay here it is just the value of band gap it makes whether the system is insulator or semiconductor it defined by the band gap only so we, we will deal as a semiconductor insulator here and the next section is electron this is not specific to system as as such so the convergence threshold is 10 to the 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 and the mixing beta this is the mixing algorithm you, you are not uh, maybe that sophisticated to understand this this is the mixing of density old and new density 70% of old density we are including to the new density okay that is what it is and atomic position this is systemic specific because the, what the symbol is the first column is the atomic symbol second column which is here is the atomic weight and third column is the pseudo potential file name okay and this file name is sourced inside this folder right here okay that that value is sourced go and look on that folder therefore you also require um, uh, copying that uh, pseudo folder from the temporary folder earlier and then atomic position next comes the atomic position this is the flag name itself and the unit of atomic position i am using crystal unit and in in terms of crystal unit silicon has there are two atoms we require two atom because it is a diamond type structure 
and one is sitting at the origin 0 0 0 and another atom will sit at the 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 position okay so that means 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 and finally comes the k point grid it is mandatory to include k point grid and i am taking automatic automatic means mon cross pack type of um, calculation algorithm the quantum is will, will automatically calculate the k point grid using this um, mon cross pack um, formula and what i am doing is value these are the values of k point 8 8 8 along the x axis there are 8 intervals along the y axis there are 8 intervals along the z axis there are 8 intervals so we have 8 into 8, 64 into 8, almost 512. So I am dividing the billion zone into 512 octants, let us say, because it's a three dime voxels, or we can say 512 voxels. And I am speaking the, skipping the ga proper gamma point, 0, 0, 0 is skipped here, because of this 1, 1, 1 value. There is, if you write 0, 0, 0, it only has two values either 0, 0, 0 or 1, 1, 1. If you put 0, 0, 0, that means you are including the gamma point. And if you write 1, 1, 1, you are excluding the gamma point. And in most of the SCF calculation, it is recommended to e exclude the gamma point because that is a 0. And if some division is occurred, then it will be a, be a big problem. So we have to avoid a gamma point in most of the SCF calculation. Okay. So therefore I put there 111 and EOF means end of file. So now the proper uh, input of quantum espresso is done. The below is again bus script and job running calculation. MPI run I'm using because I am using parallel kind of quantum espresso unlike yesterday. MPI run is the command to invoke parallelization like we say ohm to invoke some spiritual things. So this is our ohm. And minus NP is number of processor. I am taking four processor for this calculation. PW.x is the actual executable file of quantum espresso. And minus NK is number of K point. So this is a parallelization scheme. Okay, It is very important to tell um, uh, X1. And most of the cases you do not get this information anywhere essentially. Only very few people will share this secret here. Let us see. Minus NK means number of K point 1, but this is we are our parallelization scheme, okay? Not the actual number of K point, which is on the earlier case, it is 888. I will also share one output file and discuss uh, about this. And plane wave, you are dividing into four processor. And the main important thing is the product of minus NK and minus NPW should equal to the value of NP. So for 1 the 4, we are fine. If I have, let me slightly edit. If I have 2 here, and I must go here 8, there is no other option. Okay. So this is how we parallelize quantum espresso. If there is 2 well, then I have this option. That can be done. And the minimum value of NPW must be 4. If you parallelize your quantum espresso calculation, at least you need quad core machine. Then you will have the parallelization, real parallel. Otherwise, it will not parallelize. It will run in one core again. So the minimum number of core is four. After that, you can even do five also. Okay, but four is the minimum cutoff value for parallelization. Let me revert back to the original state. Okay. And minus NK is number of plane wave, sorry, number of K point, and NPW is plane wave, and minus INP is the input file. It takes the ar argument as an input file, which is our SCF.in. And SCF dot is, is constructed on the fly by, by the bus script right here in this line. Cat and then angle bracket close and in input file name and EOF means again in the file. So whole content within this EOF is written in a in SCF dot in file. This is the meaning here. Okay, so I am embedding actual input file plus all other pre-processing and post-processing uh, features within a single file called LAT dot SS here. So actually, it has so many information. This file. It has information to automate. 
it, it has information to run the quantum stressor on this line and it will extract the total energy by this bus, um, bus programming TE means total energy variable <coughs> in which there is a slash sign which is actually the or key just above the tab tab on your keyboard okay this is the just above the tab, tab on keyboard and grab and it will source the exclamation uh, character okay this this character pattern on the scf dot out file and it will print the last line of that source and it will print the fifth column of that source that is by awk so it is a very complicated uh, uh, conglomeration of um, so many commands at once grab command tail command and awk command are combined together to extract the total energy from that scf dot out file this is uh, really a marvelous uh, things and i also spent many days to identify how to extract this pattern and particularly pick that total energy from the source and there is force also total force also which i commented because of the symmetry of this crystal force is always zero in this so i commented out that line and stress is here although you may look that later on but our concern and this line is important uh, sorry this is not important because it will write the stress one which is not our immediate concern but this line is important where i am writing the first column eco l at is the lattice variable that is swing between minus 3 to plus 3 percentage and then t is the total energy the second column is total energy this is how your eto dot dot file is populated and here is a double angle bracket closing okay that means it will keep on appending every value as it um, grows if you have si single uh, closing it will overwrite the previous value but if you have double closing it will keep appending so that we have all the data for 25 calculations right there and then i also want to save the history of my calculation okay and here is the history of my calculation i am tagging each scf dot in file with a variable number m so that later on i might dig for down these files as needed so i am not deleting any history and similarly i am digging saving the history of output file for each scf calculation with a tagging of a dollar m and done after done i am done actually so this is the way i am uh, i have uh, prepared this uh, script and you will not find anywhere this script again except on my repo and it is the there are so many scripting like this automating but i did not found this much simple okay although it may be simple for me because i wrote myself but um, i hope you will also find this simple and th there are other options also okay on the internet but no, not simple like this with minimum text of a bus scripting i am programming this file to automate the lattice constant scanning and then now i have this file ah okay the, i am not in the super computer now this is oh, obviously you all have finished your calculation and this is the l dot file dot i just discussed and e dot 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 is the file where those two columns are populated basically you have seen i saw many of you have seen and then now the rendering of that plot is discussed here and how many of you are well known about gnu plot it is a open source uh, plotting program for uh, linux or sometimes in window also there is uh, with certain limitation we can use in window also let me show you that plot script so that you have more feeling on dot plot. okay the, it will render the pdf file later on when you invoke file this is gnu plot 
maybe it is out of scope but it is better to understand the first line is you are defining your canvas and the font size type etc and second line you are defining your output file in a post script format and th these are the variables like uh, what is the range of x axis what is the range of y axis etc and then you are labeling your x axis label of y axis and format how many number of digits you want to include on the value of on the y axis for energy etc and the way to write the region and you are defining your own line style here and the plot actual plot plot is here okay the plot e dot 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 is the actual data points that we have and there is another file fit dot dot here okay fit dot dot is previously generated file and then you have output set and ps to pdf there is one more important file here sv line sv line dot plot is a very small set of uh, um, gnu plot instructions to fit the data interpolate uh, non linear interpolation this is basically this is okay so what i am doing here is i am calculating 501 values out of 25 values because that is we want the inter interpolation like you are doing your very rough scanning just 25 values between 6% range okay so because of that you don't have fine value but i am fitting there the fit is done by the non linear fitting and the benefit of this fitting sv line is that it will guarantee the calculated point with the line for that line which is not available for polynomial fitting otherwise i could um, fit in a polynomial also okay but i like the cubic sv line and this is gnu plot will take care of everything after this so what you have to do is do this command if you are there gnu plot plot first sv line we will render the sv line for and generate the fit dot dot file it doesn't take in a snap it will finish and then gnu plot uh, a let dot and then you have to do this file okay sort gone and then maybe my internet is also gone <laughs> okay uh, okay A after this uh, your plot will generated a0 dot pdf file will be generated okay here now i am even disconnected uh, okay you might try that and when you do this uh, then what you can do is you open your uh, browser uh, suppose you are yes like this i know where it is this is different right it is disconnected again ah okay good connected great okay sir ko dhyan diye sir aap gaye aur internet bhi gaya mera what's what is the data iska ah idhar hai file browser okay Yeah, now I will tell you little uh, cheating method here. It's it is a cheating method actually. What you have to do is, although your window Linux is little different, but I will give you the idea. Here, if you have menu bar, click on the go like this, and there is a uh, network or or something. There is maybe server. I think I couldn't find that. Network is there. Network. Network. Maybe not, sir. This is not. Right. Or directly type here. If you have this type bar, in in proper Ubuntu you have to do Control L, okay, to get this type bar on the top. Uh, write this: F S F T P. S F T P is for secure secure file transfer protocol, okay. And then colon slash slash, and your username. My I will type my username, but you type your username. He man that uh, number. And username at the rate host name hpc dot ku dot edu dot np, and then slash s o m e o. And you also type again your username. I will type my username. Okay. Now it will ask a password. So remember password until you log out. It is safe. And connect. Sorry, put your password and connect. I put my password. You put your password. Okay, there. 
so you can assess supercomputer graphically which is seamlessly um, you even don't know where you are working whether you are working on your local machine or on supercomputer at Kathmandu University you even don't know anything like you see the storage zero is here which is the folder only you will know that you are working there and Himachal is here Uh, pardon, increase the size? Increase the size. Uh, I don't know how to. Let me try control C plus. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes, good. Only the folders are increased, not the font. Is the font increased? Uh, or maybe yeah. let me do that font, okay, in a paste. Mm, let me. Ah, sorry. I'll go. I will put this command in terminals in a bigger font, okay, so that you can copy, copy this thing. Actually, the command is this. Okay, do not type in the terminal. Okay, by the way, I am just showing you here in the terminal. The command is you have to write on the file explorer, on the bar of the file explorer in in Ubuntu. In this is a Mint system. It has already that appeared. So I do not type Control L. You might type Control L if you do not see the typing area. Okay, in file explorer. So SFTP is for Secure File Transfer Protocol. And column is here, like we type HTTP, this is the same way for file transfer protocol. And colon slash slash and directly your username at the rate host name. And slash home, slash username and slash storage zero. And then hit the enter. After you do that, you, you will be promote, promoted in a while, you will be promoted with password. And then type your password and connect or something, whatever there, press the enter. Okay, this is the command, let me even make it bigger. slightly on that yes okay so sftp raja th that means your hima it will start with hima in your case hima at the rate some number and at the rate hbc.ku.edu.nb slash home again hima with number followed by number and storage zero and hit the enter so let me know okay if you have any problem to see the file graphically this is a little bit uh, easy way because we all are possibly novice to Linux if you are otherwise you can copy with the SAP command also if you are expert in Linux you don't need to do this graphical method and especially if the file is like gigabyte I do not recommend this method okay up to 100 megabyte or 200 megabyte it doesn't matter because our internet is there 100 mbps so we can solve very quickly on these files but gigabyte file do not copy graphically. It may be very slow. But 100 kilo megabyte it is okay. So anyone has difficulty doing this? And after that what you will see is, you will see this and I am searching here Himachal folder, okay? Let me check. Ah, oh, here I got the second last folder is Himachal folder, okay. And I work on the LR folder. And you will see that PDF file. Here we go, a0.pdf. Okay. Now open it. Just double click will open. Doesn't do anything. Uh, okay, okay. What is this hint? Ah, okay, yes. Look at here. A beautiful plot is there. Let me slightly decrease it so that we can see carefully. Okay. So I hope all of you can see this. This I already told you that cubic SV line will guarantee the uh, fitted line pass through the data point, okay, and which is has happened here. And it is not possible with cubic fitting. So it is not recommended to do cubic fitting for this. And you can see that this particular the lowest point is possibly the minimum energy. And draw a straight line below, up perpendicular to the x axis and the value of x, x point is the lattice constant okay which is very close to 10.34 uh, i think okay in a rough estimate it is 10.34 uh, bore and you can convert that into angstrom let me check how much is that a quick way
for Yeah, which is the our obtained value is 10.4. So for first digit we are good. 10.43 I think uh, the lattice constant is 10.43. Although our value is slightly higher, but it is the because of uh, our rough, rough estimation. Okay, so we are good now. We got the lattice constant of silicon, and this is how it works. So. Try it. I hope you will get it. And let me show you the plot here. So your plot is looks like like this, okay? If not, if you are not able to get, then there may be some error. So basically, I am talking about here the silicon. Silicon is a diamond like structure. And what is a diamond? Diamond means when two FCC lattices are merged together along the body diagonal. Right? Two FCC lattices are merged together along the body diagonal. Means one FCC lattice is there and in that another FCC lattice is immersed but up to one fourth. Right? So first of all let us understand what is FCC lattice. Because in FCC lattice how many atoms are there? Four atoms. Right? But here we are taking only one atom for the FCC. Because we are taking primitive cell. So let us understand the meaning of uh, primitive cell. structure and uh, an atom is sitting, one atom is sitting here, another atom is sitting here means at each corner and every corner atom is contributing one eighth contribution is there, right? And uh, there are atoms which are sitting at the every face because I am talking about the FCC lattice. So that means one atom is sitting here. Another atom is sitting in this center of this face, another atom is here, another atom is here and one in this face, say it will be somewhere here and for another face it will be somewhere here, right. So that means corner atom, eight atoms and every atom is contributing one eight so it will be one and on the other hand every face is contributing one by two and six faces are there so that means be three so that means there are overall four atoms are there in FCC lattice but we are taking primitive cell primitive cell means minimum volume space so it's a silicon so every atom is silicon so let us do one thing let us take first nearest neighbor so for this corner atom this atom is the first nearest neighbor. Let me draw a vector from here to here. For one face, let me take another color. 
right so this is one vector which i am trying with its nearest neighbor you will see this diagram in kitten and let me go to the another this is another vector and here it will be this one right let me do one thing it's little bit if i draw it uh, rather than this yeah say it will be uh, blue let me take it somewhere here yeah it should be somewhere here then if i draw a vector right this is the vector these are the three vectors so using this vector i can again draw a unit cell and if i draw a unit cell by considering this like this and then like this right so this green colored box which you are looking at this is the primitive cell of fcc lattice right this is the primitive so that means it contains only single atom so first coordinate is 0 0 0 about which adhikari sir talked about in the uh, f uh, in the input file but we are taking two atoms so that means if i look at the body diagonal because this is the body diagonal so if i merge one more cell into it and and i will take origin this point then it is what it is 0 0 0 and what is the one fourth of the body diagonal one fourth of body diagonal means one fourth of body diagonal means 0.25 0.25 0.25 means one fcc lattice has one atom in the primitive cell and another fcc lattice which is important which is immersed into it has another atom in the primitive cell so in the primitive cell there is one atom and there is another atom so that means one fourth of the body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 means one fourth of body diagonal is 0.25 0.25 for the silicon crystal and similar we will talk about diamond or germanium crystal also now question arises what should be the size of the cell so input file there is a lattice constant which we are optimizing so what is the meaning of that uh, lattice constant uh, let me talk in terms of angstrom actual value is 5.43 Uh, the flag for that is uh, uh, for lattice constant is what B R A B A lat A lat yes A lat A lat is the flag here you have to give some value no, 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 cell D M one cell cell D M one cell D I M D M cell D M okay cell D M bracket inside the small bracket one small bracket sir okay okay Cell D, yeah, this one, huh? one. Yeah, one. You have to put some value here, yes. right? So what is that value? If le if le lattice constant is 5.343, then what you will do? You will say start with the 4.01. Let us imagine. So that means first input is file for the say 4.01. Yes, uh, let us uh, take it not 01, but let us start with the 4.05. first simulation you run for the 4.05 then you go to the 4.10 4.15 and so on say you are running this simulation uh, for say let us uh, 7.00 angstrom so for every lattice constant you will get the total energy of the system you will get lattice constant and you will get the total energy it is the lattice constant it is the total energy of the system you are getting this then what will you do what is the lattice constant of your structure which you are looking at the lattice constant actual lattice constant is the lattice constant at which energy minimizes so that's why we are plotting lattice constant versus energy plot so the plot which you are getting 
you will get such type of plot so that means this is the minima and this is the lattice constant of your structure so it should be 5.43 so as we are doing approximation so it must be around 5.43 there should be some errors as in this calculation you get uh, 10.47 is the actual value and the calculated value is 5.43 bohr right so this is slight difference that means we are very close to the actual value so this is the way to look at so that's why scripting is very important so sir use the bash script otherwise you have to manually choose those values say 100 files are there or 25 simulations are there then you have to look into uh, look into the every out file from every out file you have to write down manually lattice constant then write down the total energy if you want to do all such things manually it will take more than 1 hour but a script will do it for you in a fraction of seconds and you will get the total energy as well as lattice constant and you simply plot it and get the uh, minimum value right so i think uh, this i want to